This is a Milwaukee impact wrench. It has a one and a half square pin. This is used for taking apart big, big bolts. It has 120 volts and seven amps. I believe this die grinder only has 3.8 amps. So this Milwaukee, this Milwaukee impact wrench has more than double of this die grinder's amps. So let's just get this baby apart. So now we're gonna be start taking this thing apart. This is a um, <clears throat> Torx or Star, whatever you wanna call it. So, anyways, there's these two guys that got me interested into how uh, was it? Um, trying to open up tools, checking out motors. Uh, got me into engineering. And they made this one video about two baseball bats on a spinning, on like a box in one way. And it was a baseball video, it had two baseball bats on it, the ones I use. And they got dented up pretty bad when they was, the, when the thing was swinging it. It sounded like a helicopter. But anyways, those two guys were Jer Jeremy Fielding and Smarter Every Day. I'll put the link in the description to that video, to the video about that. One was just showing how they built it, and one was the action. So Jeremy Fielding, I think, built it, and he was describing how to have, like, how he built it and everything. And then Smarter Every Day, um, he just showed the action and how like not building or anything but he talked about some building stuff but it was pretty fun to watch and if you guys want to ch go check them out then go check them out so as i open this up i'm gonna find a way how well okay it's already opened up okay so this thing's <clears throat> okay yeah, yeah yeah that's firm okay that's firm in there and always remember to take off your um <clears throat> your plug while you're taking stuff apart because something's gonna go wrong and you won't want that to happen so no let's not use the h2 hammer to see Okay, yeah, that's good. That's better. Okay. Oh, okay. Whoa, dude. Okay. Okay, so we got an end part, and look at all this grease and stuff. Okay, okay, so that's a lot of grease. Okay, that's bad. So, as you can see... Here's the springs, and you can't push these things in. Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. Can't push that in. Ooh, it looks like there's gears right here. Let's see. There's this thing. Oh, here's the nut. The bolt, basically. Okay. Okay, oh. Oh, there they are. Okay. Baron just fell off. Hmm. Let me see what I can use to get this off. I have a butter knife I can use. To... Yeah, there you go. A couple of gears right here. Okay. We have this left. Now we got that off. This off to the side real quick. Oh, okay, that's way too greasy. Oh, okay, dude, come on. To do that to my workbench. It's nasty. Okay. So I believe this is the middle. This goes around in a circle, probably. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh-oh. Let's see what happens. Okay, okay, let's see. Yeah, no. Okay, so 
Now we have the bear. Okay, yeah. Let's uh, put this on a napkin for now. So, first spread this part. Sure. Oh, come on, dude. Has so much grease in it. No wonder they probably don't even want this thing. Okay. Okay, so here you have the bearings. Let me do that for you. Sorry. Okay. So these things pop out for sure. I know that because I'm doing it right now. Uh, these things are gonna go all the way. Okay. So we got all of this. Um, okay. Move out of the way. So these are the bearing balls. Ball. Bearing. Balls of the bearing. <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> and then, y'all, yeah, that's so much grease. It's nice. So let's put this away for now. That's nasty. Okay, I need another. Okay, I need another wipe to wipe this off. Okay. So I put all my workbench and stuff. Okay. Let's get this. So if I see this correctly. There's a lot of things. Let me see if this can open. Okay, this can't. Okay. There's a lot of things that can, that can be opened by now. Here. Okay. From my perspective, there's a lot of things that can be opened. That I'm not wanting to come open. So... Okay. Let's find more ways to get this out. Maybe there's a missing screw. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's because we're retarded. And this thing has a split and it's not coming open. Okay. As you can see, uh oh. There's a split. That's right here. And this thing's coming open. Okay. Well, that's hot. Here's the trigger. Take this thing off. I'm back. Sorry, guys, for that. So, as I as I admit, this trigger is trash. Look at, see this? Yeah, it's just it's just garbage. Don't really need this. And if I can get this thing off, that would be great. I need to get this thing off, which sucks. Ah, dude, how do you get that thing off? Okay. Okay. I guess that's not going to come off. Well, it can come off, but just, it's not wanting to come off right now. Ooh, that's hot. Stator's hot. Ooh. Okay. okay, so now I can see something. If I can uh, unplug this or, like, I just want to... I don't care. It's not, it doesn't even work anyway, so we're just gonna. I'm just gonna cut the wires. Okay. Now that I have this thing off, take this off. As I see, this is a bearing right here. I don't want to take this off all the way yet. Let's go right here. Okay, so this is a bearing. It holds a spot right here. A bearing is causing this or this thing to move. The stator is the bearing if you have it like this. 
I kind of already broke it already, but that's okay. Okay, so I just pulled this out. Here's the rotor. This thing spins. Ooh, this is some major damage right here. As you can see, there's indents on these metal strips. Here. This is the stator. As you can see, I cut this off because it was kind of getting annoying. So, if I go over here in the back, and it goes to here. As you see, there's this thing right here. If I go to back and I put this to here, these are the brushes, and that was, that was the that was the thing, and that was the thing that was making the bing boom sound. Was it like the doo doo doo? And back here was making the sparks. So it's the brushes. So these things are the brushes. If I can take these things out, these things can come out. Yeah, I can see. Yeah, but I don't, let me see if I can use all the socket, dude. Okay. Uh-huh. There we go. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. That's bad. Well, I guess we lost one brush. Okay, it's okay. We still have another one. Okay. So, you can see the brushes make that. Something in here indents to this and it makes a spark. So, let's go back to this trigger real quick. So, as you can see, this trigger has the, 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 was it? Wait, the forward and reverse, reverse, forward, reverse, forward, reverse. Okay, so if I go over here, there is something in here that you can get out. Okay. So you see this thing in here? I want to get this thing out. This thing. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's on the track. Okay, so there's something that I think you can get this out with, but I'm not totally sure. So I'm gonna use this. And I don't wanna hurt myself, so. Okay, never mind. Uh oh. Okay. Dang it, shouldn't have done that. Okay. So, I'm trying, I keep trying to get this thing out, but. There's not, there's something in the way of this is, I think if you try to push it out this way, it's not coming out because this, this hole is too short. And if you take it out this way, it might happen, but something might get stuck or something might break. So we don't want that to happen. So, so if I, Okay, so if I get uh, another one, there's another one out. Okay, so if I get that, okay, there's this thing right here. So you don't, want, you do not want to press this in the way. You do not want to press this down this way. You want to get it out this way, but looks like it's stuck in here forever. But so this is what's inside of an impact wrench. This is a stator. This is a rotor, and this is what holds all the gears in place. And sorry, this was out of my impact wrench. So these gears are go these gears go into here. This go these gears go in those sockets. Stator goes into here. There is brushes that have wires that go to the commutator that starts the electricity to flow and flows to the rotor and makes the rotor spin into this and there's a mold so the mold keeps it in place 
and then it, it spins this thing if i can actually try to spin it it spins this thing right here yeah it's it's hard to spin that it spins the it spins the uh, that metal pole in there then these gears go into that metal pole what is that well, the gears don't work out very well so then this thing just goes into here goes into there then this thing right here the nut goes into here so this is the final product and this is what's inside of my my impact wrench so make sure you go check those guys out jeremy fielding and smarter every day i'll go put a link in the description for that baseball machine video baseball bat machine video so stay independent